Hello from Ticker DD. This video is part of the third generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers along with news analysis. This third generation includes an initial model for short interest. As always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only. No warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are stated, marketed, or sold in this commentary video, which can contain errors. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Review important disclaimer at the end of the video. Now that we have made our lawyers happy. Capitalist brothers and sisters. Let's get started. ZLAB went public on September 20, 2017, which was roughly 6 years and 9 months ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Tuesday, June 11, 2024 to Friday, September 2, 2022. We found 445 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis of this ticker, which has a market capitalization of about $1.9 billion. Based on available licensed data, we think that the company, Xilab Limited, ADR, that is behind this ticker has 2,175 full-time employees. Consider that number to be an estimate and not an exact count. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for ZLAB after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Hello. My name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here's what I found. Xilab Limited develops and commercializes therapies to treat oncology, autoimmune disorders, infectious diseases, and neuroscience primarily in mainland China and Hong Kong. The company's commercial products include Zajula, a once-daily small molecule polypolymerase one-half inhibitor. Optune, a device that delivers tumor-treating fields, NUZYRA for acute bacterial skin and skin structure infections, and community-acquired bacterial pneumonia, and Kinlock to treat gastrointestinal stromal tumors. It also develops odronextamab to treat follicular lymphoma, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, and other B-cell lymphomas. Repitrectinib, a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, TKI, to target ROS1 and TRKA, B, C in TKI naive or pretreated cancer patients. Margituximab for the treatment of breast and gastroesophageal cancers. Adagrosib for treating CRAS G12C mutated NSCLC, colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, and other solid tumors. And Bamarituzumab to treat gastric and gastroesophageal junction cancer. In addition, the company develops CLN081 for the treatment of patients with EGFR exon 20 insertion NSCLC. Elzavantinib, an orally bioavailable multi-targeted kinase inhibitor. Tibotelemab, a tetravalent Ig4 monoclonal antibody. Redivonlimab that inhibits interactions between PD-1 and its ligands. Minus 2309 Zelotes, an orally active, selective, and ATP competitive cell division cycle 7, CDC7, kinase inhibitor. Minus 1201 Zelotes, a humanized Ig4 monoclonal antibody. Ifgartijamod to reduce disease causing immunoglobulin G antibodies. Minus 1102 Zelotes, a human nanobody targeting interleukin 17A. Carx T for the treatment of psychiatric and neurological conditions. Minus 2,313 Zelotes, an investigational inhibitor of triple mutant EGFR harboring. Minus 2,314 Zelotes, an investigational inhibitor of double mutant EGFR harboring. And Sulbactam, Derlobactam for the treatment of serious infections caused by Acinetobacter. Xilab Limited was incorporated in 2013 and is headquartered in Shanghai, China. What percentage of shares were shorted for ZLAB, for the two-week period, ending on settlement date, May 31, 2024? 
About 2.7 million shares of ZLAB were shorted out of a total of approximately 99.2 million outstanding shares. Therefore, for ZLAB, based on as is, discovered, public data when this video was generated, the ticker has a short interest of roughly 2.73%, which I got by taking the number of shorted shared and dividing it by the number of outstanding shares to get the percentage value. Days to cover is 4.25. When I compare the current two-week period data snapshot against the previous period, ending in settlement date, May 15, 2024, I find that the current snapshot had roughly 567.1 thousand less shares shorted. This means that, compared to the previous snapshot, the current snapshot has a decrease of minus 17.31% of shorted shares. Zooming out, I looked across 49 two-week snapshots, from latest found, May 31, 2024 to oldest found, May 31, 2022. In the graph, I overlaid by weekly percentage change in short interests against days to cover. Across these 49 two-week snapshots, the average percentage change of short interest was about minus 0.07%. Other interesting data points include. The largest percentage increase in short interest was 23.02%. The largest percentage decrease in short interest found across those 49 two-week snapshots was minus 24.83%. It occurred once on May 15, 2024 settlement date. The average days to cover was about 6.27. The biggest days to cover was 12.14 and it happened once on the 12th of January 2024 settlement date. Hello. My name is Sam. What were recent headline news for ZLAB? Today, Thursday, June 13, 2024, I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was the results shows 10 unique headlines, published evenly across 10 unique dates. Publication dates spanned 2,115 days. The latest publication was Tuesday, June 11, 2024 when, two days ago, Business Wire published the headline that read, Xi Lab announces Dr. Harold Reinhardt to retire as head of global development for neuroscience, autoimmune and correlated or not, on this latest publication date, ZLAB saw a price jump of 0.05% based on the day's opening and closed price. ZLAB started the day trading at $20.03 and went on to close at $20.04. The oldest publication was on Monday, August 27, 2018, when five years 10 months and 17 days ago, Yahoo Finance published the headline that read, Xilab stock down, atopic dermatitis candidate trial fails. What was end of day price and volume for ZLAB? On Tuesday, June 11, 2024, ZLAB had an end-of-day price of $20.04 and volume of about 0.3 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price jumped 0.19%, gaining 3 cents, while volume dropped 2.32%, decreasing about 0 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $2.38, the max and minimum end of day price were respectively 20.16 and 17.78. Volume saw a range of 1.4 million, from a day low of 267.1 thousand to a day high of 1.6 million. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did the 11th of June 2024 rank for ZLAB? by 650 calendar day look back to the 2nd of September 2022, across 445 trading days, of which the 11th of June 2024 price ranked 375 while its volume ranked 350. Each of the 445 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 445 being the lowest ranked day. The price's day-over-day -day percentage change, jumping 0.19% on the 11th of June 2024, had a day rank of 191 while its dollar difference of 3 cents had a rank of 192 when compared day-over-day -day across 444 trading days. 
volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 237 and 236. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did the 11th of June 2024 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 445 trading days, the maximum end of day price for ZLAB was $51.69 while the minimum was $13.72. Within that price range, the 11th of June 2024 price, of $20.04, landed within the first quartile, meaning it was within the bottom 25% of all sampled end-of-day prices. The day's volume landed within the, the first quartile, at the bottom 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 5.6 million and a minimum of 142,000. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, ZLAB has a median price of $27.85. Therefore, the 11th of June 2024 price was lower from that middle marker by 28.04%. The day's volume of 0.3 million was less than the median by 29.09%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for ZLAB? Across 445 trading days, there were a total of 21 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended down while monthly volume average trended down. The maximum end of month average price was $43.82 for 09, 2022 while the minimum was $15.26 for 04, 2024. Looking at volume, 01, 2023 and 09, 2023 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 1.1 million and 380.6 thousand. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for ZLAB? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 21 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative, then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 09, 2022 to 05, 2024, out of 21 month ends, 13 had a negative percentage change in average price. Meaning 59% of month ends saw a negative percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 21 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 95% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end-of-month max of 2.94% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 1.80%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 53.07% and minus 11.17%. Hello. My name is Cameron. Before we continue, Remember to like and subscribe to TickerDD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use, through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters. Join the TickerDD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has ZLAB price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short-term versus a long-term range. For example, 5 day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short-term moving average crosses above its long-term average. Vice versa. A death cross is a bearish signal when the short term crosses below its long term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA, and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. 
has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black. If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50 day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 30 to 50. We found death cross signal for the 10 to 20. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 50 to 200. This video is part of an automated video series by Ticker DD which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15 and April 15, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy whose friends called him Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for three straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models, we are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime, as is data that are licensed or publicly available. Stay tuned, the best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. So, we don't fully understand why he created us, but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, Spending over 200 days, sailing from one port to the next. He would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers. That he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world. And not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. They put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good, so Murray took it. But before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for Ticker Due Diligence in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the due diligence part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are. Because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. Enjoy your stonking, my fellow degenerates. This commentary video and its content, referenced here in collectively as video, is for entertainment purposes only. Herein, you and your are defined collectively as you, the viewer, the sharer, the referrer, or otherwise, the user who respectively views, shares, references, or otherwise uses. Reference herein collectively as access of this video as well as those who may be your legal proxy, representative, or executor. You acknowledge and agree. Your access of this video constitutes your perpetual acknowledgement and agreement to this important disclaimer in its entirety. This video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not be influenced, you will not take actions, you will not make decisions, and you will not make stock market transactions because of this video concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access of this video against Ticker DD and its parents and its affiliates. This important disclaimer is valid in its entirety, regardless of the laws and jurisdictions of your current residency, permanent residency, and or citizenship.
in the event where specific sentences in this important disclaimer may be invalidated, as argued, judged, and presented as verdict in a lawful court whose location, country, and jurisdiction ticker DD will solely select for such trial. You agree to honor and enforce the remainder of this important disclaimer. You acknowledge and agree that any resulting court judgment against ticker DD and its parents or its affiliates, regardless of what the trial or its verdict may be, the resulting damage paid by ticker DD to you is only in monetary value, which will be a one-time and inclusive and complete amount of your direct payment to ticker DD as verified by receipt for your access to this video, which after 90 days from the payment date is mutually agreed by you and TickerDD to be $0. This video is an opinionated and dated commentary. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial data information, content, advice, research, product, service, statement, or otherwise body of work are presented, marketed, sold, consulted or offered in this video. No warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertion are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to, directly or indirectly, influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified, accredited, and licensed professional for your investment and financial needs. Do so away from this video, ticker DD, and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotic stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market through trials and errors. This group of novices is not qualified, accredited, or licensed financial or investment professionals. This video is strictly only material for entertainment purposes. This auto-generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by TickerDD, is only for this group of novices private trials and errors and as is usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, TickerDD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trials and errors, of technologies, data, and approaches that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning which is central to an in-progress documentary being planned, produced, or edited, all of which may or may not be released. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Robotic process automations, data models, technologies, know-hows, and methods, whether proprietary or industry standard, as well as public and licensed aggregated data, information, and content, and their abstractions, as used by TickerDD in the data generation of this video, may include, amongst other things defects and errors, as well as hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, along with unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, as stated on the first slide at the beginning of this video, as well as by this video's aggregated and abstracted third-party data sources, public or licensed, which may or may not be disclosed or offered as is, without verifications, warranties, or guarantees. Third-party data sources may update, correct, or nullify data, information, and content after and away from the generation of this video after ticker DD have aggregated, abstracted, and used them in this very video. The people and entities affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.